Hello, welcome to week six. We're going to be talking this week about decision making. I wanted to catch up with you after being gone last week. I gave you a break and was trying to think of ways to maybe spice up how I introduce myself. So I gave you a break last week and here I am back kind of wanting to introduce the week. Um, if you have any ideas about what would be better for your learning style on introduction, if it's text or whatever that looks like, just let me know and I can mix things up again. So just shoot me an email if there's another way that you would find um, knowing what to expect for the week would be delivered in a better manner. But we're going to talk about decision making this week and then move into critical thinking. So you're going to find that this week and next week actually kind of go together. This week's a segue into critical thinking. There won't be a lot next week in terms of um, content out of the text in that. So you're going to kind of take an escape from that and get a break. And I'll be delivering materials on Blackboard instead. But this week, make sure you get through the decision making. There will be a little bit of repetition next week. I'm going to put some um, live articles out there and current events on how leaders that we have um, maybe looked up to or we know something about how they make decisions. The first one I'll introduce you to is the Warren Buffett decision-making model and his approach to the Red Sox hitter that um, used the strike zone as a way to have the best batting average in um, professional baseball. So we'll talk about that next week. Um, I did open up chapter five again for the homework and post quiz. I saw a lot of students kind of in there late and I saw the setting off for that Applia. So they didn't think I gave you enough time. So I went ahead and reopened that and it is open for two weeks because I wanted to give you plenty of time to take that before the exam, midterm exam. And then there is something going on with chapter seven and eight and nine as well, where the pre-quiz and self-assessment are posting as grades. I'm working with the publisher right now and they're trying to help me get this fixed. So it may be that you just um, do this, it'll count, and then I'll just have to go back in and manually drop the grade for chapters seven, eight, and nine, self-assessment and pre-quiz. So go ahead and work through those before tomorrow night. If you have any other problems, let me know. But that's kind of what's going on with that. There's a setting that's off and um, it can't be changed since students have already accessed the homework. So I hope you have a great week. If you need anything, please let me know. Um, I'd love to meet with you or catch up with you on the phone and see how things are going. But otherwise, keep up the good work and I'll talk to you next week.